terrific. You, you would have enjoyed him. Um, yeah. A very yeah. Good, good night that was. Um, yes, uh, we, we were talking there, and you, Louise, if you just um, tuned in now, you're listening to me, Mike Quinn, right here on Blast Radio. We're going around the world, and we have uh, Louise Tipper. Am I saying Tippy. your name? Tippy. 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 Uh, what, what do most people call you, Lou? No, most people call me Louise. Oh, oh, right. Tippy's a nice name, isn't it? Is it could it? almost be um, I a, don't know. a Christian name. Is it? Well, it would, it would uh, in well I'm Fleur Fashion Styling. I don't really use my surname. Right. Um, I don't think it's a particularly attractive surname. I don't know where it comes from, actually. So, Tippy. I don't know uh, where the surname comes from. Ooh. I mean, everybody thinks of Ireland, you know, as in Tipper. Uh, that, that, that's what I thought, yeah. No, it doesn't. But I don't know where else... But we were chatting there while we were, um, most people were listening to what was coming from London at the Sky. And we, we, we talked about Champneys, and you, you were saying yes, you went there well, a few years I have, ago. I have been it, there, yes. It's quite a place, isn't it? Now, yes. you, you mentioned in, in, in when you do your work on people, that you can make them look ten years younger. Five years younger, I reckon, yeah. Well, I fun, mean, fun, funny enough, uh, I think the first time I went there, hmm. when I got back, I remember the programme controller saying to me, God, you look about ten years younger. Oh, yeah. And it was because it was that laid back mm. there. Mm. Yeah, you walk around in your dressing gown and you you know chill out and and I think any any um, anything to de-stress you any facials massage in our busy lives we really need you know to wind down and take some time out from you know stress of traffic and everything else work and yeah no I mean I spent a week there once and um, oh I did come out feeling. <laughs> 20 years younger, I think. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 but, it certainly had an impact on you. Well, I have, a, I have a monthly facial. I'm 45. and we were, uh, we were trying to work out how old you were, yeah, actually. Right. Yeah, right. Well, I'm 45. Okay. And um, I, I have a monthly facial because I think it's really important to, um, you know, because I do, I am getting some lines coming. From 40, I've noticed a heck of a difference in my skin. And uh, I think the monthly facial does really help. Um, an hour and a half one, you know, have a relax and go to a spa. I'm off to a spa this weekend. Are you? Not, yes. cha not champions? No, again. no, no, no. A fairly small spa, but a new, new spa near where my mum lives in Sussex. And I'm going to have a pampering two days. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and hopefully I'll come out looking ten years younger. Did, did you find down, down at Champneys, and I mean this in the nicest mm. possible way, that it was full of rich lunatics? Well, yes. I think, <laughs> uh, I think if you, I mean, I don't think you have to be rich these days to go to a spa. You do to go to Champneys and well, stay yeah, there for I know, a week. Well, yeah, I know, I know. To go to Champneys and stay there for a week, I know, that was my, um, that was my student grant I blew on that. Anyway, no, it didn't really. But, it, you, you know, it, it, it's yeah. not cheap, is it? No, no. The, no, these places aren't cheap. Um, and you can DIY at home. Do one yourself at home. You know, get... I, I find sometimes I do a facial on my mum. And, um, you know, she can't afford to go and have a facial herself, but I, you know... Do, do, okay. do, do you think a massage helps? Or? Oh, it, any, anything like that has to help. Yeah. Do, you do, to do, help. do you do massaging yourself? I have. I'm not qualified. But I do... You um, do have a go? I do have a go, yeah. And you know on the internet now you can actually teach yourself. If you to, look on... Yeah. To massage. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You can actually massage yourself to sleep. Yes. Well, that's nice. Yes, yes, I, I, I bet that is very nice. I, 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 while I think about it, uh, whilst well, I sound like I'm plugging champions, but I've had so much fun down there. Mm. Uh, it wasn't the first time. I think it was... Actually, whatever. Uh, but um, down there I met... Um, Tonight you're going to be... Oh, Matthew Kelly. Ma Matthew Kelly Tonight, was down there. Matthew, I'm and, going to be Blondie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the long and the short of it is, you know, we got on very well. We, we, you know, you click with some yeah, people. Yeah. We, we found ourselves sitting together at lunch and dinner, you know, nagging mm. and chatting. And uh, I, God knows, we must have discussed mm. everything. Where's he now, then? Well, funny enough, in Windsor at the mm. moment. Uh, and I saw him last week. Because uh, it's the opening, I think it, I think you got that right, Laurie. It is Jack and the Beanstalk, the uh, right. the pantomime, and in it this year is Britt Eklund, um, Anita Harris. Britt Eklund, hey. Yeah, uh, yeah, she was in it last year, mm. and uh, she's there again this year, and Ma Matthew's like headlining. And anyway, at the uh, the party afterwards, I, I said to him, "Hey," and he looked at me and. 
because it, it's been a few years since I've seen him. Mm. It was before he did that, and tonight, Matthew, I'm going yeah. to be, because he was famous on some other TV show that I can't think of now with uh, Jeremy... Beadle. Jeremy Beadle, thank you, Laurie. Oh, that's right. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I remember and, and I remember people were coming up Rusty to him all Lee. the time, you know, so... What did he say? Rusty Lee. Rusty Lee. Rusty, uh, Rusty Lee. Oh, God, yes, I remember him. Anyway, uh, um, you know, we got nattering and stuff, and... Uh, we had a good old laugh, but he, he was very good in the pantomime. The pantomime oh, is good. Oh. Jack in the Beanstalk and... Um, Dan at Windsor. D Dan at Windsor there. How does Bretetland look? Bretetland. All right. Well, Ten funny enough, younger. I did meet her in America yeah. once, and I was mm. going to mention it to her, but I couldn't be asked because mm. she runs around... And my, my daughter worked on that show last year and the year before, and he said mm. she was quite... Uh, Eccentric, let's put it that way. Right. And, I, and I weren't in an eccentric mood, I, although I was, mm. but, but mm. I, I enjoyed talking to Matthew mm. more mm. and uh, several other people that. Um, the guy. I'm, I should Anita have, Harris from EastEnders fame. No, no Anita Harris, Anita the singer oh, from the 60s. Oh, uh, Ring My Bell. Think... Not that one. <laughs> no. Ring My Bell. Who was that again? No. Oh, good. Now you put me on the spot. I know the song you mean, Ring My Bell, and I can't Anita think of Stewart? the. No. It doesn't matter. No. no. Anita Harris, uh, we have a book over here. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, but she looked fa fabulous. Right. I mean, she did look good. But she's someone who goes, well, let me tell you, back in time. And I, What I, did Anita Harris sing then? I'm sorry, name, I'm I asking couldn't name, you. Right. I couldn't name one of her tunes, okay. to tell you the truth. Because uh, I shouldn't say this, I, I was never a big fan of what she did. One of uh, that's Vern, Vern, am I getting Vern this right? Vern, 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 Vern Austin, Vern yeah. Vern Vern Austin, Vern yeah. and uh, Hang On, and you were, you were talking there, and Louise said um, mm. that uh, you reminded her of Ronnie Wood, and I, I don't think so. No. Albert Lee, yes. Albert Lee, yeah. But, um, head, hands and feet. Heads, hands and feet. Mm. Yeah. Fair I'm enough, feet. I was watching, I don't know if you've seen it on BBC4. Yeah. Uh, Chaz and Dave. Oh yeah, uh, Chaz Jankle and yeah. Chaz and Dave yeah, yeah. on um, on I didn't see B it, no. BBC Four. It's a, I saw it on iPlayer. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you to Clive for uh, for that because he told me about it and I did check it out. He said you will love it and I did because it showed um, Chaz Hodges. Yeah, he, you know he was inspired by Jerry Lee Lewis. Yeah, he was in Heads, Hands and Feet That's with it. Albert Lee. Yeah, yeah, Heads, Hands and, and and his career and and the th I I knew all about him anyway. Yeah. Uh, Genuinely, I mm. did, but a lot of people don't realise that Chaz has done a lot of stuff before Chaz oh, yeah, and Dave, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the whole story. <clears throat> yeah, they've it, got a, a massive follow, a background to them. Yeah, massive back, background of the yeah. musical talent. You know, before they even came to uh, Chaz and Dave. Yeah, you know, they can go back years, can't they? I mean, you obviously know who Albert Lee is. Yeah. Uh, an amazing he was in Coronation Street, was he? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, it's no. Not, no. Uh, he's the guitarist. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's the guitarist, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because I'm not a great fan of uh, Head, Hands and Feet because I was a bit young when they came out. But Whether you were young or not, he's yeah. an amazing yeah, guitarist he was. and he's still Alvin going Lee, now. Alvin and he's Lee. more popular than you. Alvin, yeah, oh, yeah, of course he is. Everyone, everyone wants him. Yeah. In the, and I, I know, know Albert Lee, yeah. so he is an absolute creme de la creme the guitarist. guitarist yeah. And if you can stand on a stage and match him, you're good. Yeah. Is it guitar you play? Uh, unfortunately, yes. Well, so you know what I'm talking yes, about? Yes, yes. So who are your favourite guitarists? Uh, Kossoff. Jimi Hendrix. Oh, you said yeah. that. Yeah. Kossoff. Uh, Clapton, Jeff Beck. I love Jeff Beck. Yeah. Um, he's a real virtuoso, Jeff Beck. Uh, Paul Kossoff from Free, who's dead now. Um, that's right, Laurie yeah. mentions it. Didn't yeah. you go... Let's we went to a gig of theirs once when they reformed at the Fulham Greyhound, the Greyhound in Fulham Palace Road. I know it. Yeah, yeah we went there, and uh, on Sunday, on Saturday night, the DJ said there's going to be a band on tomorrow, so come early because it's free to get in. Little did we know it was free playing the band. So when we got there, it, oh, was, I see. it was packed, absolutely packed. You couldn't go for a drink. So if you went for a drink, you lost your place. We were, me and Laurie were right at the front. It was absolutely brilliant. They went you were at the gig, didn't Laurie? Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. When was that? 72. 72, yeah. Right. 72. Yeah. Well, that would be a night to remember. It was. It was. It was. It was a brilliant night. Because you know? funny enough, we mentioned Alan Whitehead. Um, I, I only mentioned him because um, th th that's when I met the lovely Louise over at Sonning at that mm. trip pub. 
and uh, yeah, yeah, it was a great afternoon. That, mm. but um, I, I, I remember marmalade. back in the yeah. day um, when free were big. We're yeah, all right now. Yeah, uh, Alan and I were very close then because uh, I just compared the Gene Pitney tour and the Marmalade, the yeah. band he was in, was on it. Oh, so really? that's how I knew Alan and stuff. And we've kind of stayed in touch over the years. Right. And I remember saying to Alan at the time, and it was 1970 that came out, I went, this is more than a special record, mm. Alan. This will live on. Yeah. I'm telling you, in years to come, people will be talking about this. Uh, I've just been around forever and loved music. Yeah. But I did love it that much, that yeah. I should be playing that now if I was a clever dick, wouldn't I? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you should but, be. But uh, we'll, we'll have a look on the system. Be all right now. But um, you, you like Eric Clapton, do you? Yeah, Clapton, like yeah. Clapton. I'm going to play you a little tune now. This is uh, from Eric Clapton, as it goes, with J.J. Cow. All oh, right. Uh, you, do you like J.J. Cow's yeah. work? Yeah, yeah. And definitely. Little Feet, you like people like that? Little Feet, yes. Yeah. All right, we, 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 we're just getting um, into the, uh, the groove with uh, Vernie. The amazing JJ Cull and uh, Eric Clapton together and dangerous. Uh, is it your partner you've brought in, songwriting yes. partner songwriting. today? Yeah. Robert M. Robert Robert M. Yes. M and M. No, do Robert M and M. Come, come M for in. murder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he murdered yeah. to be with. Uh, yes, uh, 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 please come in, Robert. Come in, uh, you, you write all the lyrics together. I do lyrics, melodies, and all the technical stuff. And Vern does all the arrangements and play, right. basically played every instrument on the and sang everything on the CD. The, so that, that's the, it, yeah. the current one. The current one, yeah. It's cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't got so you, 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 you do the lyrics. <laughs> lyrics. I do the music. music. And Bernie. Bernie does Bernie. all the music. <laughs> With an E uh, is doing all the um, music. So you play guitar, what? Piano too? Drums, yeah. Drums, wow. And, bass. Singing, all at the same time. Backing, backing all, vocals, all, everything. Yeah, yeah everything. All Talent. at the same time. All at the same time. <laughs> I wish I could. If I was an octopus, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's great. It's just, um, it's nice to to do things on your own sometimes because I find it hard to other musicians telling them, you know, your ideas, getting your ideas across to other people can be hard sometimes and time consuming. So I'm very focused on what I want. Mm. So I find it a lot quicker. Have you, have you always been a musician like yeah, this? I yeah, mean, always, you know, like yeah. a proper job or anything like that? <laughs> no, not really, no. no. I've always been a musician, really. I went to a stage school from an early age. Which one did you go to? Oh, I'd say Ada Foster's, Foster's School of Dramatic Art. Ada Foster. Laurie, you've been a thespian, you'd know where, where, any good that one, any good? Yeah, he went, he went to school with Sharon Osbourne. Oh, good. come on now. Sharon Osbourne. Have I got to squeeze everything out of you? No, no, Sharon Osbourne was there. Uh, Barbara Paul, Windsor went there. Paul Kossoff was there. Paul Kossoff was there. Uh, uh, quite a few famous faces have been to this school. Laurie, but it was, a, it was a great time to be young and growing up on stage, you know, because there was no sport at all at this school. It was just dancing. Tap dancing, ballet, <laughs> mm. yeah. and what you did ballet, did you? No, until I, 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 I got a rather, yeah, large, I got a rather large girl one day to pick up, and I dropped her because she was a bit large, so I couldn't hold her up, and she fell to the floor. So I, I, I can tap, yeah. I can tap. Oh. It's leotard. Yeah, I got honours at tap. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, and you, it was uh, you went to you, they sent you on auditions and mm. films. Like when I was about twelve years old, I was Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I was in that film and. I did about 13 films like as a kid, and uh, we used to get get sent from school. Yeah. Then I was in pantomime with Sid James and oh. Frank Highfield and Kenneth Connor at the London Palladium for six months. That was brilliant. That was a great mm. time to be with those stars. So how old were you then? I was about 12 then. So uh, yeah, I mean wow. that must have been fascinating. Yeah, it was. I think I was getting paid a 11 guineas a week for two shows a day at the London Palladium. Yeah. They wouldn't let great. you do that now. No, Don't. no, they wouldn't let you do it now. Scrooge is on there now, yeah, with, with Tommy Still, yeah, and uh, no, you're quite right. They they keep turning turning the uh, uh, young, yeah. the young kids over. You know, yeah. different ones each yeah. night. Yeah, it was a great. It was great fun to do. It was a great thing to do at that time of your life. You know, what was the name of that stage school again? The Ada Foster School. Ada Dance Foster. I have uh, heard the name probably from Laurie. You know who? Yeah. Uh, chucks all these. Names I know out. everything. And then how did you go from that? 
into the music. Uh, do, 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 do come in. <laughs> Sorry, just uh, <laughs> put, you're a bit I off just, mic there. But the question was from uh, Louise, Louise: was how did you go from that into music? Uh, because it just seemed a natural progression yeah. to go from that. My mum was um, my mum has always been a musician, and my dad was a musician. Unfortunately, they both passed away now. But there's always been a piano in our house, and I just started picking up instruments and playing them and then I formed a band and it all started from there. Who I played bass I, guitar? I started, uh, Laurie, my friend here, used to oh, play bass okay. with me years oh, ago. Oh, I know Laurie. I've, yeah, known, I've known him years. Oh, I've known Laurie right. years as well, yeah. yeah. He hasn't he's, changed. He's, he hasn't spoken No, he's back the same, really. Well, he's a bit <laughs> saner now. <laughs> but, uh, yes, and uh, I just doing the band thing as, as you do and you have lots and lots of joining different bands, doing gigs, getting paid peanuts for it, but you just do it for the love of music. And then the right thing came along one day and I kind of jumped on it and they became successful. So that was my opening into the professional world of music, you know. And that would be that the late buzzers. buzzers. Yeah. And we had our we had a competition we entered for, the BBC Radio One and the Sun newspaper looking for the band of Hope and Glory. It was a competition. And it was like four thousand. At bands. the Palladium. And the final was at the Palladium. Um, and uh, we won it. And we got oh. a recording contract with Chrysalis Records and we got £2,000 worth of gear. We Gosh, Chrysalis Records, that was run by... Yep. Help me. Yep, Chris Ellis. The Chris Ellis, yeah. yeah. And, but then Leo Sawyer yeah, took Sorry. it over. And there, there were Bay. two guys, Chris Ellis... Chris, no, uh... It, it doesn't matter, but yeah. I know who you mean, yeah. but you, you just give me flashbacks. I, Adam, no, them, Adam yeah. Faith didn't run it, but he, he was He wanted to manage us at he, one time. He, he, well, of course, Adam yeah. Faith knew everybody, yeah. genuinely. Well, he had uh, uh, Leo Sawyer. Was, it was Sayer. 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 Well, Sawyer Bean. <laughs> Sawyer Bean. But we, In he, fact, Adam Faith introduced me to Leo Sayer yeah. when he was called Patches. Yeah. Yeah, oh, he wow. said, Leo Patches. Patches. Yeah. I said, is he going to do well? He's going to do very well, he said. Yeah. He's great, Adam Faith. Yeah. I knew him as Terry. He wanted to manage I knew him as Terry, yeah. Terry Nellums. Yeah. Who wanted to manage you, Adam Faith? Adam Faith, yeah, he called us into Chrysalis one day, and uh, he was sitting at the table with his feet on the desk, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, like uh, the programme he used to do. What was the... What was the uh, Budgie. Budgie. Yeah. He was acting like Budgie, the TV character. All right, lads, come in, sit down. I want to manage you. All right, cock. Hey, but yeah. I want seventy percent. I want seventy percent of everything you earn if I manage you. Did he say that? Yeah. So we went, no thanks, yeah. and we walked out. Yeah. Oh, he could make you start. Well, I know because he's Adam Faith, and he has every connection yes. in the world. Yeah. And, and he's just, get bless him, he, he's yeah. just so great. You couldn't say no to him. Yeah, they yeah. did. Well, we did. <laughs> yeah, I, wish we, I wish we hadn't. <laughs> yeah, you see, oh. that's a shame. Yeah. Like, you didn't have to force it. I know a lot of people like that. Yeah. But um, you, you weren't thinking ahead, were you? No. And um, Yeah, and then we... Uh, but then Andre after, Giacomo, right? Yeah, then we went on from there. We went on to uh, WEA Records and signed with them. And that's when the name changed to Modern Romance. Come on with us. Uh, yes. Back in the 80s, yeah, I, I worked for Radio 210, great station. Yeah. Uh, and um, it, it's still, it's very well thought of. I, I didn't realise how strong it was at the yeah, time. Yeah, the 80s but, uh, still got quite a big following everywhere, you know. Sorry, what, what the 80s, yeah. they, you, you better come in because our audience yeah, can't hear you. What about the Rewind Festival, Henley? Well, no chair. <laughs> oh, I heard about that, Louise, yeah. Well, we're talk, if you're talking 80s, the Rewind Festival in Henley is now Stand one of the biggest festivals in, in the country. Are you involved with that at all? I go to it. I go to it. I only live down the road from it, so obviously. Um, and they've got, you know, they, they have um, Nick Hayward was on there and Hair Come 100. Because you're quite chummy, aren't you, with Nick Hayward? Um, yeah, yeah, we're friends. We're friends. He's in California for Christmas. Um, and his son's in the music business, and Nick's still. Um, he writes and he still plays. He, you know, he does a little bit. Um, you were saying there while, while uh, Adam Faith was playing that uh, you thought Keith Richard was a very well dressed oh, man. Absolutely. And of the course, um, you know, he's, he's still working hard. I mean, before mm. he loses his looks, he ought to keep all that together, obviously. <laughs> before. Um, yeah. what, 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 what would you do with uh, Keith Richards? I, I would keep him as he is. Mm. Uh, I would get. I love, I mean, his 70s, you know, um, 70s style is fantastic. And he wore, you know, he wore women's blouses, didn't he? he wore women <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was great. Yeah, though, I, I mean, mean, ladies' silk scarves and more men should be. But it's a flamboyant way of dressing and it reflects his personality. And that's how we dress reflects our personality. 
I, I can remember, it sounds funny now, I mean, I, I should be talking to Vernon about this, but he's in earshot. I, I can remember being a, a do, it was actually in the 70s, and, and it was at the time when um, uh, Ronnie Wood was with the Rolling Stones, mm. The Faces, yeah. and, and it was at a party. Now, I'd known Ronnie when he was with the B-I-R-D-S Birds, yeah. uh, and Ali's been in the studio, yeah. um, in, in fact, this year he came in. Right. Uh, but uh, I, I knew them way back in the 60s then, Ron, yeah. when Ron, Ronnie had no money, you know, yeah. much the same. It's changed now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyway, the long and the short of this is that uh, Ronnie was actually with the Faces yeah. and the Rolling Stones. Yeah. And I was at this party, uh, and I said, God, I said, you, you know, and I said, Jeff, right. And the Jeff Beck group. Yeah, I said, yeah. right now, Ronnie, I said, um, you must be the most sought after guitarist in the world. He mm. went, I'd, n I'd never thought about it like that. I went, well, you are. You're with the Rolling Stones and Rod Stewart. I mean, you mm. can't beat that. No, it's true. I said, what's it like being up there with uh, Mick? He went, oh, it's great. I went, I bet it is. Because <laughs> you know, I'm a mega a Rolling Stones fan. Yeah. And, of course, Ronnie now is considered one of the Rolling Stones. Yeah, of I mean, it's been a while. He's been in Yeah, do come while. into the yeah, he's been Yeah, he's been with them quite a while now. I only found out the other day, he's probably good. Well, he's been with them since the 70s. Yeah, that's a long time. In fact, a lot longer than Brian Jones. Yeah, 75, I think, yeah. Uh, it, yes, it was, a, it was around that time. Yeah, thank you, Laurie. Uh, yeah. It's right. <laughs> I'll help you out, Ben. Good yeah, stuff, just put Ron, your hand up. Ronnie's one of the... the I, he, he's perfect for yeah. the Rolling Stones, yeah, he's, he goes. Yeah, he's, he's just got... He seems to be at the right time at the right place. Mm. In, in, in fact, he did help him because, in his own way, you know, because mm. the vibe of him, the fun of him, yeah, yeah, and so on. And it's, yeah, it's he's amazing. He's still alive. He just got <laughs> married. He, he looks well. Yeah, he's a party animal, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, without.